Eroid Hlishte. Tishkind er and down show guine. Well, the climate of our planet has changed through billions and millions of years. In particular, we had uh, ice ages uh, in between, punctuated by uh, warmer phases. And in particular, during the last two and a half million years, we had a roller coaster development of climate uh, going up and down. Nothing compares to what humans are now doing to the planet during this century. The problem is that now through human interference, it seems that the planet will be warming up much, much faster than ever in the last millions of years. And that's what we call man-made climate change. What's the cause? Well, it's uh, the output of greenhouse gases uh, from industrial processes, from land use, things like that. When you keep on enriching the atmosphere with greenhouse gases, the planet has to get warmer and warmer, and that's precisely what is happening right now. The first effect clearly is the surface temperature of the planet is rising, but uh, one of the really important effects is that this warming of the atmosphere also leads to warming of the oceans. If you warm water, it expands, so this tiny expansion may just add to sea level a meter or so, but if you live by the coast and you have an ocean soaring by one meter, it can become very dangerous, actually. And then, of course, you have something which will affect everybody, that is uh, uh, changing extreme weather patterns. Uh? I just look to the statistics of the insurance industry. Uh? You see that weather-related events cause now tremendous damages. There is one big, big challenge which uh, will affect us all, that is uh, food security. By the end of the century, when this planet may host perhaps 10 or 12 billion people, you have to produce much more food. In the end, we have a choice, uh, and it's not the technology which is hampering us in any way, it is ourselves. We have to switch our energy system as soon as possible from fossil fuels, gas, oil, coal in particular, to non-carbon sources as we call it, that is wind, solar, biomass. Even with the existing technologies, we can rapidly decarbonize Europe become a world leader when it comes to reduce greenhouse emissions. It's the political will in the end, uh, because it's in the end a competition between an old economic system, which is based on fossil fuels, uh, let's face it, and a new system, which is much more sustainable, has no side effects, environmental, will probably even create much more jobs in the end, and will foster innovation at all scales. 200 nation states on this planet who all have to work together. It is an unprecedented challenge in human history. Eroid Hlishte. Tishkind er and down show guinea.